The riddle is solved. have come and gone since the day I departed the training ground. It was about ten years after I left that I first heard the stories about the great prodigy having been born. A fighter of uncommon if not unprecedented abilities who went on to claim the title of Kaio. Let's think that I would encounter you here in Japan. Care to go another round with me? Alas. As much as you deserve to die for your crimes, the teachings of Kung Fu absolutely forbid battles between fellow students. So what if you were fellow students? What the hell? I can explain it to you if you like. <laughs> Never mind, don't you worry about it. You've always been an outsider anyway. Step aside. I'll take care of this guy if no one else will. Oh no you don't. <laughs> I'm your master, aren't I? If anyone's taking care of this guy, it's me. Forget it, Dad. I'm here representing the Shinshin Kai. I founded the Shinshin Kai, boy! <sighs> you said you were retiring. Besides, this guy took something from me that is very precious to a Karateka. <sighs> Got it. Good. So you just leave this to me. It's you and me, Kaio. I prefer to fight unencumbered. Don't let it throw you. Fighting style. Dopo Orochi, aka the Tiger Slayer. It's been more than 20 years since I defeated that beast. An eight foot long, 570 pound Siberian tiger. Man, what a young fool I was. Tiger Slayer? I thought that was nothing but a legend. It's true? That story is true. It's not something I'm very proud of. The Siberian Tiger's an endangered species. And taking one of them out was wrong. Goes against my philosophy as a teacher. Not to mention the stink animal rights groups would have raised. But honestly, I never told people about it, mostly because no one would have ever believed it if I had. <laughs> And now, it's payback time. Your hand. And it's feeling good. Just gotta love it, don't you? The wonders of modern medicine.
Well, now, I haven't seen you in a while. Lucky for me, it happened within walking distance of your office. <sighs> Piano wire would be my guess. So where's the rest of it? <sighs> On ice. Good. You're an old pro at this, huh? You got no anesthesia. So this is gonna hurt like hell. But the good news is you'll be playing the piccolo again in three days. The first thing is to reconnect the bones. And the blood vessels, nerves, muscles, and skin. Hopefully in that order. The sutures on this main artery are looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. actually got feeling in my hand. I'll be pulverizing guys again before you know it. You're gonna need to give it three weeks before you try to pulverize anyone again. Uh, I'm sorry to break it to you, Mr. Kaio. But, uh... <sighs> my hand's back in business. All right, then. But if you're going to challenge me as a practitioner of karate... ...then it's only right that I accept the challenge as a practitioner of Kung Fu. Kung Fu technique is that? Huh? Acid. spending all our time together. Yeah? Hmm. There's something wrong with that? No, no. It's just that with you spending so much time with me every day, I... Well, I mean, are you bored? <laughs> me? Bored of you? I could never be. You never know. Are you worried that... that maybe I'll stop loving you someday? I told you. I fell for you the first time I saw you. <gasps> Just... I 
I just don't know what's gonna happen. That's all. my breath couldn't breathe you always did take my breath away sorry hmm. you want to get out of here You're growing up. I hit you like the proverbial ton of bricks, and there you are getting ready for a counterattack. Now I see. You've devoted your whole life and sacrificed everything for karate. Haven't you? That's the reason why you don't stand a chance of winning. No one who spent all his time and energy on karate can ever hope to defeat me. <laughs> you don't say, Gramps. Well, that's all very interesting. What the hell? Bad enough he's got the nerve to turn his back on us. Now he's gonna make us watch him perform? I swear, everything this scumbag does pisses me off. So you'd test my reflexes against those of your own son, eh? Well, what were the results then? Which one of us scored the higher marks? Now do you understand, Doporochi? You seek the impossible. As I told you before, you will never defeat me! What's this guy up to? There's no way he could be this weak. Not a kung fu master who's been crowned Kaio. <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry, I was wrong! Forgive me. That's pathetic. Whoa, wait a minute. Hey, hey, Pops. What are you doing? Hey, wake up. 
Come on, old man, get your head in the game. Dad. Dad, what the hell's wrong with you? You're looking the wrong way! He can't hear you. Scream in his ear and he still wouldn't hear you. Mr. Orochi is very busy right now. In his mind, he is fighting a battle. And a battle that he's winning because it's going just as he imagined it would. Retsu, what is this? Some kind of kung fu thing? What you're seeing isn't kung fu. I think he's been hypnotized. Hypnotized? A skillful practitioner of hypnosis can use his enemy's desire for victory as a weapon against him. The more intense the desire, the more effective the weapon. While hypnotized, the victim conjures up in his mind an ideal image of an easy-to-beat opponent, and then imagines the match proceeding exactly as he wanted. So, what you see is Master Orochi battling an illusion created by his own mind. Right now, he's completely under Dorian's hypnotic spell. He's imagining himself easily overwhelming his opponent. An opponent... That doesn't exist. He's giving it all he's got, isn't he? How sad to see the man revered as the god of war reduced to this. Let us bid him farewell with his illusions intact. Dreaming for all eternity. Go now to your never-ending dream world. it all along. He was never hypnotized. Yes, he was. He still is. But he knows it. Master Orochi is a seasoned veteran. It's an easy fight. Combat can be messy. It never goes exactly as you planned. For Dopo Orochi, the god of war. No, you can't! Uh, this is what battle is all about. Oh, 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 oh. That did some damage, for sure. Oh, 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 oh. That's picture perfect, Karate. So he really is still under hypnosis. Time to wake up. Whoa, the circular block. He doesn't look any different to me. Extraordinary. The moves of the phantom opponent Master Orochi thinks he's seeing, and those of his actual opponent, are somehow one and the same. In other words, as far as Master Orochi of ever having been hypnotized in the first place... I heard there was a fighting god here in Japan. One whose steel fist can split wood, and even slay tigers. He's gonna finish him! Look at his hand! Could it be that you're the one? Could it be that I've found, at last, the one who will finally make my dream come true? My god. <sighs> no more wondering. If I'd only done this, or maybe if I'd used that, I would have won. Defeat, clean and clear. An indisputable defeat. Could it be him? Could he be the one who will give me that gift?